Hi everyone, buonasera. I'm Luis Adaimi. I'm the CEO and founder of Moss.Earth. Moss.Earth is a Brazil-based uh, climate tech, meaning that we use uh, technology to expedite and make more accurate uh, the development of conservation and reforestation projects in the Amazon forest. Um, I just would like for us all uh, to do a bit of an exercise, which is uh, try to imagine a room the size of you know, this plenary here, full of trees, and you know, just count with me or follow my counting. We just lost around 10 rooms full of uh, trees in the Amazon forest. We absolutely must stop Amazon forest uh, deforestation. Um, so I'm going to begin here. Uh, all right. And there are many myths. I'm going to talk about myths and reality of you know, what happens in the Amazon. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about how we are using technology uh, to fight deforestation and therefore climate change. So um, most people think that fossil fuels are 100% of the problem of climate change, but it's actually 76%. There's 24% that comes from us, humanity, burning forests to produce food. So to raise cattle, to plant soy, to plant corn. Uh, and that means that even if we stop using oil and fossil fuels altogether, we would still have that problem of deforestation to produce food. So it, it's, it's two separate problems, really, that we must tackle. It's not just one, only fossil fuels. Um, another myth is that um, Brazil, because of all its forests, doesn't really emit. Brazil is the fifth largest greenhouse gas emitter in the world. 70% of our emissions do not come from us using gasoline cars or burning coal to um, you know, uh, generate energy. 70% comes from us burning forests to raise cattle and plant soy and corn. Um, and people are not burning down the Amazon forest, you know, because they are evil or, you know, for logging or mining or urbanization. I think we all have somewhat of uh, an image that uh, we see on, on television all the time, you know, people cutting down the trees and stuff. That's not really what's happening in the Amazon. 90% of all Amazon forest deforestation comes from land use change, meaning burning for agribusiness. And you, if you look on Google Maps, I suggest you try to do that on your cell phone, and you zoom in on the Amazon forest, all deforestation is for agribusiness. Why do people burn the forest, you know, to uh, raise cattle and, and, and plant corn? But why do they burn it at all? Because the forested land is much cheaper than the deforested land. Of course, it should be the contrary. Uh, what happens is a lot of the Amazon, also contrary to what most people think, a lot of the Amazon is privately owned. In the military dictatorship in the 70s and 80s, uh, Brazil, the government donated a lot of land to uh, private individuals. So people nowadays, they buy forested land at $100, they burn it, and they resell for $500, uh, for people to raise cattle and plant soy. Uh, and they do this on 1,000 hectares, they made $400,000. So there's a lot of easy money to be made from burning the Amazon forest. Um, and another myth and reality about carbon credits, uh, which is our field, uh, carbon credits are not necessarily from planting trees. It's not from carbon sequestration necessarily. Most of carbon credits from forestry comes from conserving the forest because conserving the forest, half of the weight of a tree is made of carbon. 
So when you preserve a large forest, you generate carbon credits because you're avoiding emissions. Remember that I said that 70% of Brazil's emissions comes from us burning uh, trees. When you burn a tree, the carbon that is stored in the cellulose molecules goes to the air as CO2 and CH4 methane. And 70% of our emissions comes from us burning our green treasure, uh, the Amazon forest. And the Amazon forest is not necessarily the lungs of the world. Uh, mature, that's a myth, mature forests like the Amazon, um, they don't, they sequester carbon during the day through photosynthesis, but they, you know, breathe at night. So all that carbon that is captured goes back to the, to the atmosphere. But the Amazon is sort of like the air conditioner or the climatizer for the world because it, it, it um, in a way, uh, it controls or helps to manage and stabilize climate in southern Brazil and in south of South America. And through, uh, you know, uh, the currents, the weather in Africa, in the Sahara, and therefore in southern Europe. So our weather here in Rome is indirectly controlled by the Amazon forest. And the Amazon forest, like I said, is more like the world's air conditioning rather than uh, the world's lungs. So what are we doing to try to uh, avoid this? We're setting up carbon credit projects. Well, what's the technology in there? First, the rationale for carbon credits. Remember that the people buy the forest at $100 per hectare, and they burn it, and they resell for $500. Well, if we protect via carbon credit project, we're going to be generating $100 per year per hectare. So the land value goes up a lot, right? If you have an asset that is $100, and it's generating $100 per year for 30 years, that asset's not going to stay at $100. It's going to go to something like $800. $1,000, and then the forested land is more expensive than the deforested land, and we stop deforestation. Uh, and RED works. RED means, you know, conservation projects for carbon credits. There's a lot of, you know, criticism in the media, in The Guardian, in The New Yorker, saying that RED doesn't work. It works. Uh, you know, against facts and data, there are no arguments, as we say. Um, it, as you can see, Countries in the dark green are countries that do not implement red, and countries in light green are countries that do implement red, and deforestation is lower for countries with red projects. Um, and this, uh, for Brazil, is a gigantic market, um, and it's a gigantic market for countries with forests, which happen to be in the global south, you know, countries in Latin America, Africa, Southeast Asia. But the carbon credit system is very slow. It's very analog. It's very ancient. It hasn't really changed its technology in 20 years. People still measure trees with tape to measure the amount of carbon. This is in a time of artificial intelligence. If you look at the process of carbon credit generation, you have document diligence, the forestry inventory, which is measuring trees by tape, a manual audit, and the registry verification. This is all done by hand in times of ChatGPT and BARD and et cetera. It's, it's really incredible how much technology has reached. What we are doing is we set up, we consolidated Brazil's amazing databases to do what is called technically uh, a DMRV, Digital Monetary Reporting and Verification. So instead of um, measuring trees with tape like this guy is doing, we're doing it via satellite imaging, and we're monitoring all of the six million rural properties of Brazil in real time, and any data that is updated concerning the property's deeds, the property's characteristics, the property's uh, legal uh, rights, etc., our system captures automatically. Um, we're also... Uh, technically called vectorizing <laughs> rasters, meaning we're getting the satellite imaging, images and we are standardizing them so that they can be read all the six million at once or, or at the same time, instead of doing one at a time, which is obviously incredibly uh, inefficient. 
So this is a system that we have developed. It's already commercially available. And I'll be happy to take, or I would like to take the opportunity here, speaking with decision makers from the world over, to please get in touch with us. We'd love to work with governments from you know, other places than Brazil. Uh, and my message here is one of hope. We began you know, by clapping hands to show how much the Amazon forest is getting burnt, but there is hope. Carbon credits do work. We have seen uh, a very significant increase in value of the land and therefore decreasing deforestation from carbon credit uh, projects. And now using technology, we hope to make it uh, more accessible uh, to everyone in Brazil and the world over. Thank you very much.